In competition, a diver is required to either perform 6 dives or 11 dives, depending on the meet. The diver is then scored on a 0 to 10 scale by 3 judges. Front one and a half tuck is where the diver jumps up off the board, does one somersault in the air in the tuck position, which is where the knees are brought up to the chest and the toes are pointed, and then dives into the water with a straight body. The diver is also able to do a front one and a half straight, which is where the diver jumps off the board in the straight position, which is where your body is completely flat and tight and does one flip in the air and then dives in. There are two different positions the diver can use, straight and the tuck. Rotational inertia is controlled by the diver's length of his body. Therefore, if the diver uses a straight or a tuck in the dive, he will either speed up or slow down. In the tuck position, the diver's rotational velocity will be faster. In the straight position, the diver's rotational velocity will be slower. As you can see here, when the diver is in the tuck position, there is a slight change in rotational velocity. Aside from the rotational inertia and the rotational velocity, another aspect in the dive is going to be projectile motion. Projectile motion can be split up into two components, the Y and the X components. The Y component is going to be dependent on acceleration due to gravity and will be up and down. As soon as the diver leaves the board, the diver's velocity in the X direction will remain constant throughout the dive.